I bet you can't clone me, Kobe. I bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. So to clone you, I needed to figure out exactly where you were. I saw you are by a bunch of lamps, so I did a reverse Google search and it came up with the Urban Lights in Los Angeles, California. The Urban Light artwork was made by Chris Burden in 2008. It consists of 202 street lamps from the 1920s and 1930s placed all in one area and is one of LA's most popular destinations to take a picture. So I took my cloning kit in hand and drove four hours all the way from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Once I was there, I finally saw the lights that you lit. I then parked my car and started walking up to the lamps so I could find out exactly which one you lit. There was over 200 lamps, so I knew this was gonna be extremely hard. We individually examined each and every lamp pole until we were gonna find the exact one that you lit so I could swab your DNA off it. Every time we thought we were getting close, there was something wrong with the pole and we knew it wasn't the one you licked until after three and a half hours we finally found the exact one that you licked to make sure we carefully matched the black spot that was on there with the black spot that you licked on the pole hallelujah we finally found our pole now it was time to swab your dna right off the side of it i carefully took out my cotton q swab so i could swab your dna right off the side of the lamp and went back to my laboratory in las vegas nevada back at my laboratory safety is always first so i put on my protective optical eyewear i then opened up my protective case and inside was your swab dna q-tip then inspected your dna q-tip with my optical lens to make sure there was no damages my assistant then gave me an ag iron plate and i placed your dna q-tip inside he then gave me cytochrome 437 solution and i sprayed it on top just enough to secrete and soak the entire thing after i put it under my nine thousand dollar microscope so i could zoom in 4000 x zoom inside the dna to make sure it was alive and moving after only a few adjustments to the microscope i then looked under it and it looked absolutely amazing i then had my assistant look under it to make sure it was moving and looked amazing and he as well said it looked great right now i'm going to show you guys what it looks like underneath the microscope check out the dna it looks beautiful Amazing and ready to be cloned. I then set up my DNA diffuser and my assistant handed me red hydrofluoric acid. I then put it down my DNA diffuser. You could see it spinning in each loop, dripping into your DNA Q-tip so I could colonize the full DNA. I then took out the Q-tip from the filter DNA and put it inside my lab at over 750 degrees. Once that was done, I used an essential streaking technique to colonize the entire DNA. Those streak lines will have the DNA absolutely absorb up to the top of the agire plate so I could take each cell Right there you see them and clone them individually. This is you after only four months old and soon I will have you for myself.